A meeting of two sides whose managers have been vocal in their high expectations for the season. Jero should have opened the scoring for Bray on 12 minutes, running on to John Mulroy's true ball. He rounded former colleague Barry Murphy, but his weak shot easily cleared by Pat Flynn. The scare seemed to be the catalyst that spurred Rovers on, the home side breaking straight downfield to open their account. John Martin given space on the right wing, his cross met by Alan Murphy, the striker netting his second goal of the season. A fairly evenly fought out game developed some bite towards the end of the opening period. Bray midfielder Gary McCabe going into the book for this late tackle on Sean O'Connor. The young midfielder was again in the spotlight just three minutes into the second half, getting involved in some afters with Rovers captain Stephen Rice before bundling defender Barry Ferguson to the ground. Ashburn said, how you? Referee Anthony Buttermer said goodbye to McCabe after his second yellow card. Rovers came close to their second shortly afterwards. O'Brien's free allowed bounce. Star Maguire's header just wide of Chris O'Connor's goal. The pair were involved in the second. Maguire flicking on O'Brien's ball. Desi Baker latching onto it behind the Bray defence. The far home is opening goal of the season. The striker happy to break his duck in front of the passionate home support. Second half substitute, Ty Purcell could have extended the gulf twice, first having an effort cleared by Derek Pender, then going close to connecting to Owen Doyle's true ball. Bray's chances were limited over the 90 minutes. Alan Cawley's long-range effort, typical of their night's work. Seven points from nine, sees Rovers sit second, Wanderers bottom with just a point. The final score, Shamrock Rovers 2, Bray Wanderers 0.